hear sounds, taste flavours or smell smells. They hear colours and see sounds and sometimes even smell noises or taste sounds. Taste crazy, unreal, right? These people are not superheroes or X-Men. These people are called synesthetes. The concept of perception, be it taste, smell, sound, touch or sight, has been a prominent focus of philosophical experimentation. Essentially, reality is based more on how we perceive things than the things themselves. But what happens when the mechanisms of our perception get mixed up? How would one's concept of reality be affected? We'll explore that soon, but first let's overview some of the mechanisms behind sensation and perception. Over to Rena. Our five senses come from the stimulation of certain types of sensory receptors in our bodies. The counter receptors in our skin and our inner ears are activated by signals such as pressure that cause a physical or mechanical change in our sensory neurons. This physical change is communicated to a part of the brain, known as the thalamus, by an electrical signal and is perceived as touch or sound. Chemoreceptors in our tongues and in our nose communicate with the brain in a similar manner, but in response to the presence of some combination of chemicals resulting in taste and smell. In contrast, synesthetes may perceive their phone number, days of the week, months, numbers, letters, or even shapes as a certain colour. They may associate the number 6 with orange or the letter Y is green. They may remember their phone number 0433 789 655 as blue, green, yellow, yellow, pink, grey, aqua, orange, brown, and red. Each portion of the cortex is responsible for a specific set of functions. There is a dedicated brain area for interpreting each of the five senses after being relayed by the thalamus. As you can see, the incoming signals to the thalamus and subsequently to the cortex are awfully close to one another, and since they are all electrical inputs, it may be possible for the brain to make a mistake or let one signal go to the wrong area of the brain. Surprisingly, our brain is remarkably efficient in getting messages to where they need to go and really make mistakes. However, when things do go wrong, things can get real weird real quick. We conducted a quick experiment on a few of our fellow peers, asking them to associate random coloured shapes with the words Kiki and Boba. We had a huge percentage of people that gave the same response. You can say that everyone is a bit synesthetic. Synesthesia, while a mental condition, is one such condition that could, in theory, actually be seriously cool. Imagine having an effective and flawless memorization method since birth. But for now, synesthesia is one of the many mind-boggling things about the weird, pink, squishy thing we call our brain.